what is up what is up what is up fs club hopefully you guys are all having a good monday morning uh, beginning of the week we have about what about two weeks until the anderson dlc drops for farming simulator okay first of all if you have not followed us on twitter make sure you guys do it. it's at fs club xbox or on facebook at fs club console all the news is always posted there okay first thing we're gonna get into guys is daily mod update what is currently being tested right now Okay, currently being tested, we have on PC side. Remember, sometimes if it says PC side, it is sometimes also Xbox and uh, P PS4 side. Uh, we have Agri France. Uh, we have the Agorism Combi Plow 4M. Alps P Panorama at the Northern Sea. I believe that's going to be an update. Uh, BD Fork, Case IH Optum, the John Deere 3050. That would be nice if we got that. Uh, the Joska Modulo 2. The Lizard Rumbler van, if you guys remember that from FS17. Uh, the Man TGX Tank and Trailer Pack. Mill Landscape Midland. New Woodshire. PGR Sloweno version 2. Uh, I've always wanted to play that one. Uh, Placeable Ramp, which hopefully we get that on console too. Uh, Prism, yeah, I can't, I can't say that. Then we have the Stall MS261C uh, Black Edition with something. And then, big one, the old stream farm. Hopefully that's for console too. I know it's supposed to be coming to console, but hopefully they're testing it for console at the same time. Then the PS4 and Xbox One side, we have the Agrimash SP200, the Easy Shed Pack with light, uh, the Flegal Silo Grab Shovel, the Placeable Farm Silo, and the Weber MTDSC 180. Number of mods waiting to be tested is 168. So a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, the big ones I see is uh, the Ichi Shed Pack with Light probably is going to be a pretty good one. And then uh, the Old Stream Farm. And hopefully it would be nice if we got the John Deere 3050 on consoles too. But the Old Stream Farm, if you guys don't know, it was on FS17 and they pretty much redid the whole thing for, uh, for FS19. Here's, uh, let's see, some pictures of it right here. Here's a picture. Uh, do we have any more pictures? Let's see. Um, here's another one. Beautiful farm, beautiful farm. Black Sheep Modding makes some of the best stuff. Speaking of Black Sheep Modding, if you guys have not, uh, make sure you guys go over to blacksheepmodding.com and you guys can check to see what he's working on and make sure you guys, you know, you, uh, bookmark that page for, uh, you guys can know exactly what they've sent into Giants, what they're making. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to the next big thing, guys. Patch 1.3.0. People have been asking about this. Well, guess what? Farmers Tomorrow Patch 1.3 drops on all platforms. All platforms. You can check the exact time when it's available on your platform in our handy graphic. Here it is right here. Uh, PC, it's going to be 9.30 a.m. GMT time. Uh, which that is like... I think that's like 4.30 my time. Wait, no, actually like 3.30 my time, I think some central standard time and then ps4 and xbox one uh 10 a.m gmt which that's five o'clock my time so cannot wait here is the patch notes for this guys this is what it's fixing and what it's adding uh features painting a grass texture now adds grass in the first stage growth so when you paint a te grass texture grass should start growing finally uh, added a filling percentage for tools and vehicles they added a name for the crop seed fertilizer inside the tool vehicle uh, they added default mapping for additional steering wheels and joysticks, which I think that's probably just going to be for PC, really. Uh, they added a new sens sensitivity control to adjust analog gamepad steering. So that's going to help with uh, consoles. Bug fixes. We have the fix the bail, de desynchronization usage in multiplayer, uh, fixed bot bail spawning beneath the map. Have not had any of those problems. Uh, fixed BGA pricing and unloading issues. Uh, fixed various LUA errors and dedicated servers, which we don't have dedicated servers on consoles. I uh, hope maybe in the future we do. Uh, fixed a blocking issue with the Goldhofer rear part. Uh, fixed a block blocking issue with alt tabbing with a wheel connected. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, fixed an issue where animals kept producing even if they didn't have any food or water. Uh, fixed an issue where bales vanished after tabbing away from the train on a dedicated server. 
uh, landscaping, painting over the same texture will no longer cost money. So if you, so if you paint something, if you paint over, it is not going to cost no more money, guys. Uh, fixed issues with Fantech, Club Sport, V3, and T-Pedals mapping. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, fixed issues related to low collision of Ninja Pipe. Uh, fixed an issue caused by any steering wheel gear shifter when using landscape. Fix several localization issues. Fix an issue where cruise control didn't work properly when using steering wheels and pedals. Uh, fix an issue where key picture was missing before pan map on map overview. Uh, G27 mapping names should now display properly. Various sound improvements and various improvements, game balancing and fixes for vehicles and gameplay. So that is awesome guys. So yes, cannot wait for that to drop tomorrow. Okay, with that, that that's the end of all the news for today. Uh, make sure if you guys have not checked also out the video I just released today about uh, what mod, ma I mean mods came out. Sorry, getting a little tongue tied to it today. Uh, make sure if you guys did like this video, you guys pound that like button. And if you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an awesome day, farmers. Peace. Yeah.